Well taken. The 1990s was a crazy time. Mobile phones were massive. Hello? Music was amazing. Fashion was... Yeah. And while football on the pitch was still stuck in its brutal past, it was a golden era for football kit design. So, in no particular order, here are the most 90s football kits ever. First up, a kit that would look more at home on a trainee painter decorator than a football team. This one holds a very fun place in the hearts and minds of Liverpool Football Club fans as it was the kit they wore when they won their last league title, which, yeah, was, was ages ago, you know, ha-ha, chortle, guffaw, guffaw, and other such beano laughter noises. Thanks. Anyway, this gets nine. Liam Gallagher eyebrows out of ten. Iconic or, or bonkers, this Norwich City classic, aka the Jeremy Goss kit, aka the one that looks a little bit like a Commodore 64 loading screen, aka the one they famously beat Bayern Munich in the second round of the UEFA Cup in 1993 in, gets a retro 90s rating of nine. Screech from Saved by the Bells out of 10. Next, a kit worn by an Arsenal side so chock full of alcoholics you'd swear that one of them was on the Adidas design team. It doesn't get much more 90s than this, taking the plain basic Arsenal colours for a wee kit of, of yellow and navy blue and then basically spunking a load of random shapes all over the shirt. Anyway, it gets a 90s rating of 10 Baywatch Pamela Andersons out of 10. Next up, from Chelsea is arguably the worst kit in Premier League history. And that's a little bit of a vibe of maybe the Umbro design team came up with this while tripping the tits off on ecstasy, wanking off to pictures of Cindy Crawford and reading a copy of Loaded magazine on the bog. They get a 90s retro rating of seven Chris Evans on the big breakfasts out of 10. Perhaps the most famous Man United kit of all time, which is saying something for a team that's been so successful in the Premier League era and in the 90s in particular. This one, not famous for success. It was famous because Alex Ferguson once stated that it made his players invisible or something. Uh, during a 3-0 drubbing at the hands of Southampton, they changed the kit at half-time and it worked a treat. They lost 3-1. This grey invisible one, they get a 90s rating of 6 out here, brothers, out of 10. The 90s was a crazy time, no club sums that up better than Newcastle United and no Newcastle United kit sums it up better than this one. Crazy colour clashes, oh yes, moving the sponsor to an OCD crippling position down the side of the shirt, yeah, sure, why not, why? The 90s, and as such it gets a 90s rating of 10, Jerry from the Spice Girls Union Jack dresses out of 10. In a kit design so desperate for attention that it would make Paul Pogba's marketing agent blush, here's Pony's Southampton kit. It gets a 90s rating of 8, mad Keith from the Prodigy haircut out of 10. Nothing sums up the 90s and Cool Britannia quite like Manchester City and its affiliation with Oasis. That went really well in the middle of the 90s, but nothing sums up how badly tits up it went, quite like the Coke binge-tastic Be Here Now and Kappa choosing to make the football kits of the aforementioned Man City. It gets a 90s rating of 5 Gina G's out of 10. Away kit? Check. Sponsor you've never heard of? Check. Basic colour scheme ruined by crazy TV static effect? Check. The Evan Away Kit from 94, ladies and gents. It gets a 90s rating of 7. Tony Blair guitar solos out of 10. Another 90s-tastic team, Nottingham Forest. Another kit that would be lovely if the designers hadn't invited Pablo Picasso to vomit down the sleeves, then ask a reception child to scroll the name of the side on the front. It gets a 90s rating of 9. Fresh Princes of Bel Air out of 10. There's our list. Are there any glaring omissions? Let me know in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to Retro Football TV, click the icon. If you want to watch more lists with a retro theme, click this one. It's about expensive football games. Have you got these in your loft? Find out and make a fortune.